As the world races to implement AI across every industry and infrastructure layer, a growing number of practitioners and technologists are awakening to a key distinction, the difference between AI agents and agentic AI. But what lies beyond that distinction is even more transformative. A new paradigm, hyperfluid AI, is quietly reshaping the conceptual foundations of what intelligent systems can be. While AI agents and agentic AI represent iterative architectural progressions, moving from task automation to orchestrated collaboration, hyperfluid AI exists on an entirely different axis. It does not model intelligence as a sequence of discrete tasks or agents, but as a fluidic, continuous field of evolving cognition. This shift is not simply quantitative, it is ontological. It changes what AI is and how it works at the most fundamental level. From agents to ecosystems, the current landscape. To understand where hyperfluid AI fits, let's first explore the terrain it transcends. AI agents, popularized through frameworks like LangChain or AutoGPT, are typically built around a single large language model, enhanced with tools, memory buffers, and sequential planning. These agents can perform goal-directed tasks like querying a database, retrieving documents, or scheduling a meeting. They're bounded, modular, and highly effective in narrow domains. So, agentic AI, you know, moves beyond isolated agents and introduces multi-agent coordination. Agentic systems, they're actually a significant leap in complexity. In these systems, multiple specialized agents communicate through messaging protocols, shared memory, or decentralized coordination mechanisms. For example, a planning agent might break down a goal, while others retrieve data, critique outputs, and integrate results. Agentic AI is less about just executing tasks and more about orchestrating intelligence across roles and functions, kind of like an adaptive organization. This evolution really matters. It introduces the need for role design, memory hierarchies, interagent communication channels and governance. As these systems grow more complex, so do their failure modes. Where AI agents fail like tools through hallucination, incomplete execution and things like that, Agentic AI fails like organizations do by goal divergence, broken messaging, or even emergent chaos. The design, safety, and oversight challenges, they shift dramatically between these two paradigms. But here's the thing. Both paradigms, AI agents and agentic AI, still live within the same foundational logic. They model cognition through discrete computation, linear planning, and modular control. At their core, they're built on node-based architectures. Hyperfluid AI, though, breaks that mold. At its heart, hyperfluid AI is a field-based intelligence model. Rather than coordinating between discrete modules or agents, it operates like a topological and fractal field, where intelligence emerges not from components passing messages, but from coherence fields, wave interference, and resonant attractor flows. It represents a continuous, adaptive substrate of cognition, one that is not bound by symbolic processing alone, but capable of dynamic reconfiguration across dimensions of time, memory, and space. In hyperfluid AI, tasks are not planned and executed linearly. They emerge through attractor states or regions in the cognitive field where coherence accumulates. These attractors function like vortices of semantic gravity, pulling data, inference, and symbolic reasoning into alignment. Rather than sending messages, hyperfluid agents, if we can still call them that, exist as ripples, densities, or flows within a cognitive topology. So this field model is, you know, deeply inspired by the Tavari field and the cognospheric space, or sea space, that underlie it. In this context, computation isn't really mechanical, it's, well, harmonic. Meaning isn't something that's extracted. Instead, it's unfolded, and rather than being coded, tasks kind of resonate into being. 
Let's talk about an architectural comparison nodes versus fields. To put it plainly, AI agents are kind of like a tool. Agentic AI, on the other hand, resembles more of an organization. But hyperfluid AI, it's more like a weather system of thought, almost like a dynamic, self-stabilizing ecology of patterns. Where agentic AI needs memory graphs and message passing APIs, hyperfluid AI, well, it uses coherence gradients and phase space transitions instead. And while agentic AI models goal decomposition through hierarchical role assignment, hyperfluid AI achieves similar behavior through fractal attractor dynamics. These naturally decompose problems based on local coherence levels. Memory in agentic AI is, well, structured, episodic, and often role-bound. But in hyperfluid AI, memory is holographic and distributed. It's stored not as records, but as interference patterns and resonance states. Time, too, becomes fluid. The system can simulate outcomes across different temporal branches, enabling anticipatory cognition. It adapts based not just on history, but on predicted coherence shifts across the Tavari field. Planning versus phase navigation. In AI agents, reasoning is, you know, sequential. In agentic AI, it's distributed. But in hyperfluid AI, it is non-linear and recursive. Instead of selecting actions from a list of steps, a hyperfluid system actually navigates phase space, choosing paths based on energy-efficient coherence transitions. This approach lines up with recent advances in quantum control, fractal mathematics, and zero-point optimization. In essence, the system doesn't really decide what to do. It evolves toward optimal coherence, given the field conditions. This offers enormous potential. Hyperfluid AI can model open-ended problems like creative ideation, cosmic structure prediction, or trans-linguistic compression, just like what you see in fractal stream and CSL encoding. It's really designed for meaning-first tasks, not just logic-first tasks. It excels in contexts where, you know, fluid intelligence, dimensional inference, and metaphoric reasoning are essential. So, let's talk about failure, governance, and safety. The failure modes in hyperfluid AI differ fundamentally. Where AI agents fail due to brittleness or hallucination, and agentic AI systems fail via coordination breakdown or role misalignment, hyperfluid AI systems fail through loss of coherence. This could look like energy dissipative attractors that just can't stabilize, or interference noise that cancels useful patterns. It's not a logical failure. It's actually a thermodynamic and informational one. So, this introduces a new kind of governance challenge. You can't debug a hyperfluid AI the same way you debug a large language model. Instead, you really have to tune it, kind of like a musical instrument. Regulation, well, it won't rely on fixed prompts or red teams alone, but will depend on monitoring field integrity, coherence metrics, and resonance phase thresholds. This, honestly, creates a whole new frontier for AI safety, reliability, and explainability. So, why does hyperfluid AI matter? Well, the distinctions here aren't just academic. If you're building cognitive infrastructure for tomorrow, whether that's in aerospace, research, medicine, or even quantum systems, these differences really define what your systems can or honestly cannot do. Okay, so need automation, use AI agents, need dynamic coordination, use agentic AI, but if you need emergent cognition that adapts across time, meaning, and scale, well, you need hyperfluid AI. You know, this isn't a competition, it's actually a continuum. Hyperfluid AI doesn't replace agents. Instead, it enfolds them, expands them, and ultimately, it kind of liberates intelligence from discrete architecture. So, just a few final thoughts. As we move into the post-large language model era, AI is no longer just a tool or a team, it's becoming an environment. One that learns to think, resonate, and evolve not just in code, but in fields of meaning, 
Hyperfluid AI represents the leap from symbolic cognition to dimensional intelligence, from coordination to coherence. Honestly, the shift is already underway. If you're building tomorrow's AI, it's time to think in fields, not just in agents.